What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Monster Bash channel. My name is Jeremy with Fish and Lone Star. Today we're actually going to do two different challenges. Let me tell you about the first one. The first one is I'm going to alternate cast, let's say about every 10 to 15 casts between either a crankbait or a swim jig. And we're gonna see on this lake out here in East Texas, which one catches more fish this morning, right? So we'll keep count of not only our cast, but also our fish. And then we'll tally them up at the end and figure out which one catches more fish, crankbait or swim jig. I'm, I'm personally gonna think the swim jig, but that's because I like the swim jig a little bit more, but I'm still gonna give it my all with the crankbait, all right? I'm not gonna sell it short and we'll see which one catches more fish. Now I said there's two challenges because the other one on my channel, Fish and Lone Star, which you'll see is myself versus my wife, who's on the back of the boat right now. And the reason why I say that's a challenge is because uh, there's been plenty of times before where she's fished with me, actually at Lake Okeechobee, and caught more fish and bigger fish from the back of the boat than I did on the front. So. That's gonna be on my channel, Fish and Lone Stars. Make sure you check that out. Enough talk, let's get to fishing. Let's start with the swim jig, because I like it more, and uh, see which one catches more fish. Let's roll. There's one. All right, first fish. Not a bad one. That's a pretty good one. Swim jig within what, three casts maybe? Yeah. Swim jig got him. All right, there's one. One for the swim jig. All right, third cast on the swim jig. I'm gonna give it a few more and then we'll switch to the crankbait. We'll do about every 10, 10 or so casts, as long as I can keep a good count. All right, that's been about 10 casts. We're gonna switch now over to the crankbait here. This is the ARC series, little three to five foot diving crankbait. I'm gonna have to be careful bringing it through some grass. Uh, however, should work really well. Little bluegill pattern and uh, hopefully we'll stick a couple on it. Let's give it uh, a go now with a couple, couple casts here. There's one, little one, real little one. Oh, look at that, that's a crappie, guys. I'm not sure that we're gonna count that, though, in our crankbait versus slim jig challenge. That was actually cast number 10, uh, not a bass. All right, that is uh, two crappie on the Arc Lures bluegill. Uh, this is a great color, great little crankbait. It's uh, definitely drawn in the crappie bite. We just need to catch some bass with it now. Got a couple more casts and we'll switch back to the swim jig. There's one. That's a bass that time. All right, we're one for one now between the swim jig and the crankbait. And uh, that one got him pretty good. Little one, but it's not a crappie this time. There's another one. All right, they're eating the crankbait right now. That was a fun jump. All right, two on the crank, one on the swim jig. Let's switch back now to the swim jig and see if we can come up right down this bank line, but they seem to be stacked over here in this corner pretty, uh, pretty steadily over here. For this uh, little ARC series 1.5 square bill, I'm throwing that on a Lose LFS reel. 
really like this reel it's pretty uh pretty affordable uh on a tfo tactical cranking rod that's a seven foot moderate action that moderate action really helps the hooks stay pinned um, and it's on 14 pound fluorocarbon so that's just what i like to throw my cranks on that's what i'm using right now on this setup and on my swim jig setup i really like the loose hyper mag mainly because i throw the swim jig a lot and this reel with this rod the tfo again seven this is a seven three heavy fast but the tactical elite they're both under 10 ounces so i don't get tired when i'm throwing the swim jig a lot throughout the day uh, i just really like it this is a great great setup so if you're looking for something light that you can kind of go all out all day check out the hyper mag yeah Swimming towards me. Oh, that's a good one. Or better. Nah. All right. All right, guys, we're all tied up. Two on the swim jig, two on the crankbait. That's definitely the best one so far this morning. But I uh, got them on that little swammer paddle tail on the VM swim jig. But uh, pretty good fish. So two to two. Let's uh, now switch back to the crankbait. See what else we can get. Let's keep going. Couple, couple of cast into the crankbait. Three now for the crankbait, two for the swim jig. That was only three casts in to switching over. So that's a little Arc Series crankbait's doing really well. There's one. Yeah. Very next cast. All right, very next cast on the crankbait. One came up and ate it. That's now three on the crank, or four on the crank. I think that's four actually on the crankbait and two on the swim jig. And uh, that's a pretty decent one. The biggest one's still on the swim jig, but they're eating the crank a lot more. Let's keep at it. All right, so what's seen me working with the crankbait is you'll see right now we're in six foot of water, um, but just right here, like literally where my rod tip is, is about four foot and then three foot so i'm basically paralleling the bank line here and that four to seven foot range and that's just where the bass seem to be hanging out today every now and then we'll see them crash shallow the swim jig is done better up there in the grass but today the fish are hanging out out here normally on a grass lake you would think that the swim jig would do better but uh, the crankbait's winning so far so here's a good example i pulled off the bank and you can see where the water dropped down but then fish are hanging off right off that drop so we're in 10 foot now we got to get a little bit closer but uh, you can see kind of a good example of what i'm talking about where the fish are hanging off of that lip pretty good one again Oh, he is fighting. The, no, it's out of the troll motor. Oh, shoot. Okay, he's out of the troll motor. I think the other one on the swim jig was bigger, but that was two casts later. So out of four casts, that's three fish on the crankbait. And that is now five on the crank and two on the swim jig. Another one on the crank. Another crappie. That's a big one too. Crappie don't count. But that's the third crappie on the day. They do eat good though. Woo wee. Woo wee. I think so. Swimming towards me. Ooh. 
pretty good one there on the swim jig. Decent fish. All right, that is five on the crank, three, almost said two, three on the swim jig. We got about 30 more minutes to fish. Let's see who's gonna take home the trophy in this little competition. All right, guys, crankbait versus swim jig. One of my favorite lures. Crankbait wins. Today, you know, on a grass lake, I sure would have thought that the swim jig swimming it through grass uh, would have worked. I would have thought that the bass would have uh, been eating it more, but in reality, they ate the crankbait more. So I believe this is the sun gill color. It's a great little natural color uh, for throwing, you know, really up shallow. This is a three to five foot diver, but we were kind of fishing around along the grass edges with it. And uh, this one caught six. The swim jig caught three, but the swim jig did catch the bigger fish, probably just because it's a bigger profile. So you can see the two side by side. This is a 1.5 size. This is a four inch paddle tail in the back of here. And uh, you know, the swim jig just being a bigger profile, pulled in the bigger fish, but the crankbait caught more. And uh, obviously total pounds the crankbait totally won. So kind of surprising today between the two, to be honest with you, but uh, pretty awesome. I've never fished arc lures it's actually arc fishing rods but they make crankbaits and other hard baits stuff like that i've never fished uh, this lure before until it came in my monster bass regional pro bag or box so one more reason to make sure you're subscribed to monster bass because awesome baits like this is what's coming at you each month to quite honestly go out catch a lot of fish and help you fish better make sure you subscribe right here to the monster bass channel and to see who won between my wife and I, who's behind the camera right now. You gotta head over to my channel, Fish Alone Star, check that out. Other than that, make sure you subscribe right here to Monster Bass. Like the comment, I'm sorry, like the video, drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think between crankbait fishing, swim jig fishing, and which one you catch more fish with. Monster Bass, go catch one.